and the famous author was asked, what do you consider your greatest work of fiction? And he said, my income tax form. Harry said, I don't want to go to school today. He said to his mother, I don't want to go to school today. The kids don't like me. The teachers don't like me. And even the custodian has it in for me. His mother said, you are going to school today. You have much to learn. You have much to offer. And besides, you're 45 years old in the principal. <laughs> Computers are in the Bible. Eve said to Adam, Do you want an apple too? The little old man and the little old lady were summoned to court because she stole a can of peaches. The judge says, How many peaches in the can? She said, Six. The judge said, you are hereby sentenced to six days in jail, one day for each peach. And the little old man said, well, can I say something? And the judge said, be brief. And the little old man said, she also stole a can of peas. Now, along about, on or about 19... 1995, uh, Glendor was exposing the questionable behavior of the supervisor of Nassau County, Long Island. That night, uh, she got a call from Cablevision, the cable company, there, and they said, we're taking your show off the TV. Um... Tonight, as of now. And I said, well, listen, Cablevision afraid of lawsuits? Oh, yes, we're, we're always afraid of being sued. So the next day, folks, I went to the law library, the nearest law library, and I looked up how to write a complaint to court. And this was to the Supreme Court, County of Westchester, State of New York. And I found out how people write complaints, and I looked up the law, and there wasn't any law on it. Well, there, was, there were rules. I looked up the law for the state of New York. And the next day, I called the Federal Communications Commission. And back in those days, the FCC was a whole lot smarter than it is now. And the man said this, and what I'm going to tell you, and then that was all. And I told him what happened. And he said, the United States Code 13, 531E. And he said goodbye. Well, that was it. It's plain as anything. No cable operator can exercise editorial control over public access television. Thank you, Google. Stop. So, it was in the court for a long time. And then the decision came out. And listen to this decision. It said, Plaintiff has a statutory right to be on TV and must be returned to TV. Look, honey, I'm not going to be around much. This body is not going to be around much longer. But this spirit's going to be here forever. I am going to be there, and I am going to be prompting you. Take care of public access TV. It's in your hands. Take care of it. There are only two forms of free speech left. One is our dear favorite all-time sidewalk free speech. The other one is public access TV. And in 1985, I think it was, Congress did call us 
a public access forum. Excuse me. Congress did call us a electronic soapbox. Let me go over that again. Congress called us an electronic soapbox. There you have it. We have the utmost and we will deserve the greatest protection. And just a couple more things I'm going to leave you with. Never lie, steal a sheet. Never. Never lie, steal a sheet. And go vegan. May the grace of God be with you and everybody you love. Amen. Hello, and welcome to the 2023 Hometown Media Awards. We are live here at Brick House in Brooklyn, New York, being carried in over 30 stations around the country, and in the presence of award winners from around the United States who are here to celebrate excellence in community media in many, many forms. My name is Mike Wassenaar. I'm the president and CEO of both the Alliance for Community Media and its foundation. This, the Hometown Awards, is a program of the ACM Foundation. And it's our honor to be with you tonight as we celebrate the excellence that happens in communities across the country each and every day on your hometown channels. Before we begin tonight's ceremony, we have a couple of words from folks who care a great deal about your work and would like to celebrate this evening with you. First of all, I want to thank our hosts for the ACM conference and for this national awards celebration. Brick Arts Media, please, a huge round of applause for everyone at Brick. It's an extraordinary organization, an extraordinary staff, an amazing community. We'd like to welcome uh, Brick board member Adam Greenberg to the stage. Good evening, and welcome to the Hometown Media Awards. My name is Adam Greenberg. I have been a member of the BRIC Board of Directors for the past five years. And in addition to working with BRIC, uh, as part of my day job, I work at Google, where I focus on news and media and Google search. I also have a journalism background, so I spent some time as an arts reporter for the Daily Iowan at the University of Iowa. I have a degree in journalism from there, so this is dear to my heart. Uh, these awards were established to honor and promote community media, community radio, and local cable programs that are distributed on public, educational, and governmental access cable television channels. Proceeds go to the ACM Foundation, which is exclusively used for facilitating, preserving, and promoting education in community media. We at BRIC, home of Brooklyn Free Speech TV and proud supporter of hundreds of community producers, know how important it is to amplify the voices of our communities through media. We are so honored to be the first public access center to host this conference and the awards ceremony. Congratulations to all those that have submitted and to this evening's winners. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. This evening's uh, presentation is being presented live across the country in part uh, because of our sponsors for tonight's ceremony, Cablecast Community Media, as well You'll be able to download and use award winners in your local communities to be able to springboard conversations and inspire folks for the excellence that you see tonight. So uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors for uh, this evening's uh, proceedings. Please welcome to the stage Dana Healy from Cablecast. Cablecast is so excited to be the 2023 Hometown Media Awards sponsor this year. Um, and how beautiful is this facility? Can we get a round of applause for Rick and the staff here? Awesome. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. 
So new this year, Cablecast is streaming the Hometown Awards Ceremony live on a Cablecast public internet channel. So if you haven't already, please download the Cablecast app, which is free, so you can watch all your friends and colleagues and their full videos in an uncut and at your leisure, so you can continue to enjoy them and pass those videos on to your, your friends back at home. Um, we're here to celebrate tonight the winners of the Hometown Media Awards and all the people that have come together to make this happen. So the Hometown Program receives almost a thousand submissions every year. It's an enormous undertaking to review and to judge and to, to look at all of the, that content. So our, this program would not be possible without all of those volunteer judges. So can we please get a round of a hand for those volunteer judges? And I'd also like to extend a big thank you to the chair of the Hometown Awards, Barbara Chisholm. Where are you, Barbara? And to the staff at ACM. Also, let's give them a round of applause for all the work that they do on that. And thank you to everyone who has submitted a submission to the Hometown Awards because that is supporting the foundation of ACM to make important content like this possible so we can continue to learn and move community media forward together. Again, Cablecast is so happy to be a sponsor here and to help with community media and uh, enjoy the evening. And uh, thank you so much. Thanks, Mark. Dana Healy. So a couple of quick notes before we begin uh, tonight's proceedings. Uh, with This is a program of the ACM Foundation, which is a 50C3 charitable project that supports educational programs of the Alliance for Community Media, including our Emerging Leaders Institute, which will be starting uh, later this fall. If you'd like to make a tax-deductible donation to the ACM Foundation, there's a QR code that you've got with your program that our our lovely, our lovely hosts gave out to you as you attended tonight. Take up your phone, press the QR code, and please kindly consider making a donation to support the foundation and its work, the educational work that we provide to be able to support emerging leaders and others throughout the communities that we serve here in the United States. Go to the QR code, pick up your phone, and consider making a donation. Now, let's talk about some of the mechanics before we dive into the meat of this evening. We'll be providing you uh, a reel of the Hometown Awards here in a moment or two. As your award is being announced, we would like you to come to stage left. Pick up your award. If you would like to have a picture with me in front of the lovely bee, come to stage right. I will not judge you if you choose to not be sharing my lovely visage and the bee with your award. We want you to celebrate the award, though, and we want to give you that opportunity. So please come forward if you want to be able to take a picture. And then proceed back. And then, of course, if you have multiple dozens of awards tonight, I ask that you at least, you know, be kind and considerate to other people and sit a little closer down to the stage so that you're not creating a, a, a hazard as we're moving forward. All right, so again, stage left to get your award. The B, if you'd like a picture. All right? All good? Excellent. And now, here are the 2023 Hometown Media Awards. Special thanks to Cablecast for sponsoring tonight's program. Welcome to the 2023 Hometown Media Award Celebration, the national awards program recognizing achievement in public, education, and government access television and community media work across the United States. This program is presented by the Foundation of the Alliance for Community Media. Thank you all for joining us to celebrate the best in community media. We had close to a thousand submissions and the competition was fierce. Thanks again to Hometown Media Awards sponsor, Cablecast. We could not have put on this special event without your help and support. The first category is About Access and Empowerment. These are programs that exemplify how community access television empowers people to speak about issues that affect them. 
In the category of About Access and Empowerment, Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to J. April from Akaku Maui Community Media for the project titled Roots of Access. You know, video is a new thing. I don't think there was anything such as video before 1958 or so. And there was no such thing as portable video until about 1968 or so. So before that, we had experience everything live. In the category of About Access and Empowerment Community Radio, the hometown goes to WPPM 106.5 FM from Philly Cam for the project titled Community Radio as a Tool for Change. I want to kind of ask both of you about, um, you know, thinking about this question, right? Like how um, community radio can promote or be used as a tool for change. Can you both kind of like speak on that, you know, the Access Program promo category recognizes short promotional videos, less than five minutes in length, about an Access Program or channel. In the category of Access Program Promo Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Kyle Lowe and Ben Cruz from CMAC Fresno Clovis for the project titled Download the CMAC App. And download the app. That's it. You'll be able to stream CMAC Live or watch your favorite programs on demand. For the latest updates, follow us on social media or check out cmac.tv. Happy streaming. The audio programming category covers news, talk, music, or entertainment audio broadcast from an access center on the radio, internet, or as a podcast. In the category of audio programming access center professional, the hometown goes to Jason Gray from Gillette Public Access Television for the project titled, Let's Talk Gillette. But what is Labor Day for? What does it mean? Is it the end of summer? The last barbecue of the year? Great deals on furniture? No, Labor Day is intended to celebrate the achievements of the labor movement of the 1800s, which is to- In the category of audio programming community radio, the hometown goes to 2022 WPPM News Fellows from Philly Cam for the project titled Block by Block. Expungement clinics are events where people can find help clearing and completely erasing their criminal records. Block by Block reporter and community organizer Maleka Fruin spoke with members of two organizations that have held clinics in the region to find out how expungement clinics work and why they're needed. In the category of audio programming independent producer. The hometown goes to Mary McCauley, Mary Forster, Mary Elliott, and Nick Woodbury from Westford Community Access Television Incorporated for the project titled Married to Real Estate with Dr. Mamie Parker. Head north to, to Wisconsin and uh, a lot of differences, but a lot of similarities because again, on the banks of the Mississippi River, just a different river, right? Yeah. I mean, the same river, but different people and a different scenery there. Next up, we have children's programs, informational or entertainment programs targeted for audiences of children 12 years old and younger. In the category of children's programs, Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Kelsey Kobalarik from Shelby TV for the project titled, The Treehouse. As you can tell, I'm here at the Shadbush Nature Center, and this is where our episode's gonna kick it off. So let's go check out what we've got going on. Hi, my name is Kaylin. I work at the Bird. In the category of Children's Programs Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Liza Obremski from The Liza Show for the project titled, the Liza Show, Episode 1. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, what are your names? Liza, I like those names. Me too. Hey, we're going for a walk. Would you like to join us? Oh, please join us. We'll have a splendid time. The Community Events Activism Slash Rallies category is awarded for coverage of community events such as rallies and events intended to bring about social or political change. In the category of Community Event Activism slash Rallies Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to KOCT Community Television for the project titled Pride by the Beach, Oceanside 2022. 
Pride is connected to all the services that the North County LGBTQ Center provides. To see today the outcome of years and years of community work. It happens every day, not just during Pride. It's a great joy to all of us. In the category of community event activism slash rallies student, the hometown goes to Teen Tiger TV from WPAA TV and Community Media Center for the project titled What's in the Bag? Coalition for a Better Wallingford. Yeah, week six, without a doubt. Week six was all about nature, bringing our families together, gratitude, and um, that's what brought everyone down here to attend the, the summer finale. So week six was definitely our... The next awards are for community events, general. Awarded for coverage of community events such as award ceremonies and other special community events. In the category of Community Events General Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to the Omni Center for Public Media and City of Carmel, Indiana. From the Omni Center for Public Media and City of Carmel, for the project titled Winter Games. <laughs> and um, this is our second time we've done this. We had such a great time the first time that we wanted... In the category of community events, general community radio, the hometown goes to Molly Marcello from KZMU Moab Community Radio for the project titled Citizen Soapbox. Taking the allotted two or three free speech minutes to tell them what's on his mind. But in this setting, I don't hear any railing against local leaders for something they did or didn't do. I'm hearing mainly poetry. It's uh, an opportunity to uh, express your free speech. Uh, on In the category of community events, general independent producer, the hometown goes to Leia Wells from Caps Media for the project titled Travel Today with Leia, Earth Day Bolsa Chica. Your host Leia, as we learn about this area and the interesting facts of the changes that have happened to the ecological area, enjoy the Earth Day festivities, and learn about the birds. So stay with me. In the category of community events, general student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022 Germantown Horse Show Crosstalk Special Edition. Hello and welcome to GHS TV's special coverage of the 73rd Germantown Charity Horse Show. I'm your moderator, Tia Lyons. Every year, Germantown welcomes competitors from all over the country to compete and showcase their equestrian skills and one of the largest all-breed horse. The Community Events, Parades slash Festivals category is awarded for coverage of community events such as parades and festivals. In the category of Community Events, Parades slash Festivals, Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jason Baldwin, Tim Kistner, Will Shannon, and Zoe Sobel from KPU-TV for the project titled Live in Ketchikan 2022 Blueberry Festival. It is the 47th annual Blueberry Arts Festival and uh, we are so excited. We're gonna have it downtown again this year for the second year in a row. We have about 30 new booths, 30 more. In the category of Community Events, Parade Slash Festivals, Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Esther Queen Mixie Leliev from Brick Brooklyn Free Speech for the project titled A Return to Carnival. Too. And you know we are here at the Brooklyn Museum featuring Youth Fest. Now you know Mixie loved the kids, so stay tuned for some highlights also from the Grammy Museum for Marshall Montano's 40th anniversary. In the category of Community Events, Parade Slash Festival Student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022 Live Coverage of the 49th Annual Germantown Festival. Hello and welcome to GHS TV's live coverage of the 49th Annual Germantown Festival. I'm Brandon Sewell. And I'm Tia Lyons. As you can see, we are not in our normal spot for our live coverage this year. That is because of the weather we've been experiencing. Our next category is Community Impact. These are awarded to programs that generate community involvement. In the category of Community Impact Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Paula Hershey and David Hevenor from Town of Barnstable for the project titled 
Sandy Neck Beach Park, Turtle Rescue. A four day um, wind event. Um, it was mostly out of the north and northeast, um, and that generally is an opportunity for turtles to come on shore at Sandy Neck. As you know, they've been coming on shore um, in Wellfleet and, and Truro. In the category of community impact independent producer, the hometown goes to Ranjna Mena from Cupertino TV Productions for the project titled Cleaning Up the Guadalupe Watershed. Yeah, so this is the Guadalupe River here. <laughs> when the rains come up, the water floods into this floodplain here. And so a lot of trash plastics get stuck down here. Huh. And so today the, the, the work we're doing... In the category of Community Impact Student, the hometown goes to Giada Strom from Speak MPLS for the project titled The Get Down Coffee Company. So I've been a regular at a coffee shop since I was like 14 years old and it's just been a, a fun line of work. Uh, I've always been fascinated with everything that has to do with coffee and how it can bring so many different people together. The Democracy in Action category is awarded to programs that cover national, state, or local elections. In the category of Democracy in Action Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Frank Schott, Charles Douglas, Charlie Walters, and Mark Carapeza from Nantucket Community Television for the project titled Nantucket Election Coverage 2022. Hi, my name is Sebastian, and I'll be asking people, why is it important to vote in local elections? Um, because government starts at the local level. That's where most of the issues matter in your community. It's probably more important to vote in local elections than anything, to kind of be part of the process and to be part of the... In the category of Democracy in Action Community Radio, the hometown goes to Larry McGlynn, Denise Clay Murray, and Lance Haver from Philly Cam for the project titled the Philadelphia Hall Monitor. And, you know, one of the things that both Fetterman and Shapiro have, have guaranteed is, is that they, they ran, ran on that platform, you know, that they promised to protect um, abortion rights in Pennsylvania, so at least for four more years, um, you know. In the category of Democracy in Action Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Patty Piotz, producer, Jennifer Zielinski, Max Reimer, and Diane Knapper, hosts, and Steve Malone and Jennifer Zielinski, camera slash crew, for the project titled Republican Roundtable. Voting day, election day. With us today, we do have three great guests. We have Sean Holster, Doug Fulton, Ryan Chase, all running in the South Metro area. And one thing we like to ask you guys first is, who are you and why are you running for office? And I'll start with Sean. In the category of Democracy in Action student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022 Live Coverage of Election Night. The 2022 midterms are here, but who will take control of Congress is anyone's guess. Hello and welcome to GHS TV's award-winning coverage of Election Night 2022. I'm your moderator, Brandon Sewell, coming to you live from the campus of Germantown High School. We'll be on air and online tonight until 10 p.m. Next up are those in the documentary category awarded to documentary format programs about an event, occurrence, or issue of social importance. In the category of Documentary Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jonathan Alexander from City of Hyattsville for the project titled Namesake. But there were so many people who had new ideas uh, around what defined the city of Hyattsville and who they wanted to choose um, as a namesake or what ideals or concepts they wanted to recognize here in the city of Hyattsville. Renaming a park is just that, the name. It's actually what happens. In the category of documentary community radio, the hometown goes to Lanita Duke from Grassroot News Northwest for the project titled LTAR, A Woman's Right versus Supreme Court Might. Hello, my name is Mary Lee, and I live in Portland, Oregon, and I work for The Mill, the Multnomah Idea Lab. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk About Race. Our topic, the possible... In the category of documentary independent producer, the hometown goes to Marvin Jackson from Prince George's Community Television for the project titled Women of Color in STEM, Past, Present, and Future. You can't catch me on a bad day. 
you know, because every day I'm having a blast. Because, so, you know, my background is engineering, you know, I did many, many years of school and research within biomedical engineering. In the category of documentary student, the hometown goes to Allison Flynn from Northampton Open Media for the project titled One Last Note, The Northamptons. I don't know, I mean, we're, we're, we're a group, and I guess by nature of being a group, we're all depending on each other to get the best result, and you can't, you can't be good just with one person. You gotta all rely on each other. I think that's, I don't know, that's what really defines the group for me. The Documentary Biography category is awarded to documentary format programs that examine a person or organization. In the category of Documentary Biography Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Matthew Boyd, Jeremy Thomas, Mike Seacrest, Susan Schrock, and Jay Warren from City of Arlington, Texas for the project titled Journey to Baseball Town docuseries. A sports writer from the Dallas Morning News, Frank Luxa, he said Nolan Ryan follows him to the mound Friday night at Arlington Stadium for the 1993 home opener. Ryan himself has done all right by the Rangers. He gave them a national identity, but Tom Vandergrift gave the Rangers life. In the category of Documentary Biography Community Radio, the hometown goes to Sage Tangway and Jim Cohen from WTJU Radio for the project titled Circle of Willis Halloween Special. So I've got a story to share with you, and this is the story of Anne Green. It's a very interesting um, story. She worked in the house of Sir Thomas Reed, who was a justice of the peace. She was a scullery maid. She was 22 years old. And in the category of documentary biography, independent producer, the hometown goes to Leah Wells from KOCT-TV North County, San Diego, for the project titled Travel Today with Leah, Ocean Institute. Welcome to Travel Today to Dana Point, California. Join me, your host, Leah, as we go to South Orange County to a beautiful coastal town, and we're going to enjoy the festivities at the harbor today. As you can see behind me, I'm standing in front of the ocean. In the category of Documentary Biography Student, the hometown goes to Daniel Taylor from Laura Bachelor Middle School BTV for the project titled The Forgotten Hero, Carl Lutz. His father owned a sandstone quarry, but unfortunately, his mother died of tuberculosis when he was 14 years old. Then, Carl began working in an apprenticeship in a textile mill in St. Margrethen when he was 15. Now, like I said, he was born in Switzerland, but he came here at the age of 18, not knowing a word of English. The category of educational activities is awarded for videos that describe school-sponsored programs or feature events sponsored by educational institutions or school districts. In the category of Educational Activities Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Allison Long, Mallory Kenny, Leonid Mazor, and Michael Wheeler from Germantown High School Television for the project titled Memphis Shelby Schools Report. Hello, and welcome to a new edition of Memphis Shelby County Schools Report. We're coming to you from the studios of Germantown High School Television. I'm Maria Strickland. And I'm Caden Bolton. Each month we highlight various people, programs, and events making a difference in our school system. In the category of Educational Activities Community Radio, the hometown goes to Sage Tangway from WTJU Radio for the project titled Symposia Matriculation. So first to start off, I'd love to actually ask you, Sophia, you know, what was the transition from high school to college uh, like for you? Uh, pretty atypical. My first year from high school to college was the COVID years, basically. In the category of Educational Activities Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Eileen Rosen, Jim Hoppen, and Shirley Joel from Manhattan Neighborhood Network for the project titled Active Aging Stories. Walter and I met at Brooklyn College in 1963. I was an art major. And at the time, Walter was a math major, and he had uh, just come back from being in the Army. And we met in an ed class. And the reason we met was because... In the category of Educational Activities Student, the hometown goes to GHS-TV, CMTV, and European School in Tbilisi, Georgia, 
from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022, An Ocean Apart, A World Together, Our Questions Answered. ...of An Ocean Apart, A World Together, Our Questions Answered. A collaboration between the European School in Tbilisi, Georgia and Germantown High School in the United States of America. I am Nino Gavaita. And I am Dach Tarchize. Greetings to all. This is the third time at Georgia. The educational profile category is awarded for programs that promote educational institutions or showcase the school district students or employees at work. In the category of Educational Profile Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Allison Long, Mallory Kenny, Leonid Mazur, and Michael Wheeler from Germantown High School Television for the project titled Memphis Shelby Schools Report. And so that was the main thing that I had you know, as far as trying to build a program up here and trying to get new recruits in the class, having kids that got a passion and want to work, that want to, you know, achieve success, not on an ego level, but on a, a level where we're doing this as a team environment. In the category of Educational Profile Community Radio, the hometown goes to Mary Garner McGee and Jim Ryan from WTJU Radio for the project titled Inside UVA, Rita Dove. Hi everyone, I am Jim Ryan, President of the University of Virginia, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the 10th episode of Inside UVA. This podcast is a chance for me to speak with some of the amazing people at the university and to learn more about what they do and who they are. In the category of Educational Profile Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Thomas Brissett, Susan McFarland, Lisa Getter, Frank Schott, and Dee White from Nantucket Community Television, Nantucket Golf Club Foundation, for the project titled, The Journey of the Nantucket Scholar. Ever since I was little and I knew this scholarship was a thing, I knew that one day I strive to be a finalist for it. Like, I've always looked up to the Nantucket Scholars. I've always thought, like, man, I want to be like them, the Nantucket Scholar. In the category of Educational Profile Student, the hometown goes to Rosa Lopez Nunez and Marissa Reynoso from Go EdTech Go for the project titled EHS Football Hype Video 2022. And I'm heavy in the streets. 22 or 23, I'm heavy with the heat. Hit you with the top. Oh, it's a feeling. 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 Oh, it's a The next category is Emergency Communications, awarded to programs that help communicate important emergency information to residents. In the category of Emergency Communications Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jerry Day and Chris Brown. From Access to Alumni, for the project titled, Are You Ready? Creating a Go Bag. The first step is have a plan and have a go bag. What's a go bag? A go bag is a backpack of any form and size that has everything you might need or want to have in case. In the category of emergency communications student, the hometown goes to Code Blue News from Holbrook Community Access and Media for the project titled CBN, Telecommunicator Week. The dispatchers go above and beyond. We're the first line of defense when you're in crisis. We're the first people you talk to. We're the ones that are gathering the information for the first responders, not only to help the caller, but also to paint the picture of what's going on at that scene for the first responders. The color gold is the thin gold line, so it's the glue that holds it all together. Moving on to Entertainment and Arts series, awarded to programs designed to entertain and amuse using visual, media or performance arts, sports commentary, and entertainment talk shows. In the category of Entertainment and Arts series, Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jason Augenstein of Access Vision and Clovis Bordeaux of Battle Creek Community Foundation from Access Vision for the project titled Winterfest Variety Show. Sledding hills and candy cane vendors on every corner. That's what makes a great community. What do you think makes a great community, Santa? I believe what makes a great community are all the different kinds of people who live there. In the category of Entertainment and Arts series, Community Radio, the hometown goes to Robbie Zucker from WTBR-FM Pittsfield Community Radio for the project titled Berkshire Sports Now. 
Just outside. Can't get any better, right? It is beautiful out there. You know what's not beautiful? What? It was the Celtics oh, shooting man. last night. <sighs> God. Talk about a disaster. I mean, you know, I, I thought that they were going to win last night because, you know, they came back in the third quarter. The first quarter was putrid. Oh, was in the category of Entertainment and Arts Series, Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Robert Cam from Thurston Community Media for the project titled Karaoke Oli. Hi, I'm Napoleon Dynamite, and I'm, I'm pretty much like the best karaoke singer on the planet. Uh, idiot! So this is Karaoke Oli, and uh, we do this on the third Friday of every month. In the category of Entertainment and Arts Series Student, the hometown goes to Robert Zahn, GNPS TV Director, GNPS TV Crew, for the project titled Student Filmmaker Showcase. Hi, I'm Rob Zahn, Director of Educational Television and Broadcast Media here at Great Neck Public Schools, and I'm very excited to introduce another exciting addition of Student Filmmaker Showcase, a show that highlights short films produced and directed by Great Neck student filmmakers. Now for Entertainment and Arts, single episode, awarded to a single episode of a program designed to entertain and amuse using visual, media, or performance arts, sports commentary, and entertainment talk shows. In the category of Entertainment and Arts single episode Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragos, Christo Bakalov, Norin Omar, Steve Carbo and Christina Gary from Queens Public Television for the project titled Around Queens, Louis Armstrong Legacy Jazz Jam. This is an art form that comes from a culture. It's not just something that you learn in school. It comes from people, real live people. What Flushing Town Hall has been doing is very, very important with having jam sessions. In the category of entertainment and arts, single episode community radio, the hometown goes to DJ Mouse, Don Humphrey, from 103.3 Asheville FM, for the project titled, Come On In My Kitchen, Halloween Episode. And this here's a song about a Welch witch. <laughs> In the category of Entertainment and Arts Single Episode Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Leah Wells from LA36, LACTAC, Los Angeles, for the project titled Travel Today with Leah, LA Little Tokyo. In downtown Los Angeles, Little Tokyo, we're starting our day here at the Doubletree Hilton up at the top floor in the garden. We're going to visit Japanese gardens today, museum, a tea room. We're going to in the category of Entertainment and Arts Single Episode Student, the hometown goes to Michael Southworth and Isaac Rays from Go EdTech Go for the project titled Mid-Afternoon with Michael and Andrew, Episode 12. Welcome to the audience and welcome back to another episode of Mid-Afternoon with Michael and Andrew. Or the Eastside Mamas. Today is a very special episode because it's St. Patrick's Day! And in St. Patrick's Day tradition, we've kept up with the green attire. And I got a special surprise for you guys! The event fundraising category is awarded to a program covering an event designed to raise awareness, money, and support for an organization's mission. In the category of Event Fundraising Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragos, Christo Bakalov, Andrew Guidoni, Steve Carbo and Christina Gary from Queens Public Television for the project titled Around Queens, Jazz in the Sky. So many things that we just couldn't do. But when it came to the music, you couldn't tell us how we're gonna play music, how we're gonna play our music, how we're gonna interpret it. The experimental category awarded to a risk-taking or unique work that challenges traditional boundaries using innovative production techniques. In the category of Experimental Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to William O'Donnell and Mark Crosby from Quincy Access Television for the project titled History Comes Alive, Norwood Town Hall. In 1926, 
town meeting members voted in an appropriation to construct this building as a memorial to Norwood residents who had served in World War I. The new Gothic cathedral-like building was... In the category of experimental independent producer, the hometown goes to producer Oswald Williams and Griffin Rossler from MyBlock TV, Queens Public Television, for the project titled Ascension. In the category of experimental student, the hometown goes to Jabril Green from Berkeley Community Media for the project titled M. Ya, the final expedition. The for-profit category covers programming that creates awareness for a for-profit service slash business in a community. In the category of for-profit access center professional, the hometown goes to Jeff Poole and Aiden Horrigan from Westboro TV for the project titled Norse Farm, EDC Hall of Fame Award. So we get the freshness and the flavor comes from my sorting through all kinds of varieties of product that we've grown over the years to find out which one tastes the best. I was born and raised here in Westboro. My family's lived here for 300 years. We feel like we're a part of the community. So this is an important... In the category of for-profit student, the hometown goes to producer Holly Van Wee and supervisor Karen Henderson from Westboro TV for the project titled Go Local Westboro, Simply So Hope. We have a lot of candles. I love the jar candles. Anything that I use that is glass or plastic, you totally could reuse it. That's really important to us, that things are sustainable. I do get a lot of requests for making uh, specialty soaps and products for weddings. For The category of government activities is awarded for videos that describe government programs and services or feature events sponsored by government agencies. In the category of Government Activities Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to John Walls, Mitchell Anderson, and Chris Williams from James City County for the project titled Glass Only Recycling Program. Take it away, guys. Simply drop your glass into the purple containers located at county convenience centers or other locations. The glass stays local and creates a closed loop system. Glass from the containers goes back to OI for production and can be back on the shelf. In the category of Government Activities Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Ben Williams and Summer Dash from Oak Ridge Office of Environmental Management for the project titled Oak Ridge Bombers. We're starting out in our hot cell operations and we actually have a, the radioactive material inside the hot cells. This is one of environmental management's biggest projects, but what does it have to do with cancer? Everyone, family, in the category of government activities student, the hometown goes to Nola Buzanski and Levi Armstrong from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Special Report, Gubernatorial Candidates Town Hall. I know where we do a good job. I know where we have room for improvement and making sure that first of all, the funding's there, but also parental choice when it comes to education. Review of the material so parents know what the kids are being taught and also making sure that if the kids aren't getting the education they deserve, parents can move them to public school. Now for government meeting coverage. Awarded for programming that helps citizens understand and follow local government meetings. In the category of Government Meeting Coverage Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to John Funfar from City of Pasco Television for the project titled City of Pasco City Council. Good evening and welcome to City of Pasco's Council Meeting. The Council thanks you for being part of Pasco for being part of your city government. At meetings, the city council takes formal action on items, holds public hearings, and conducts other business of the city. Agenda packets are available. In the category of government meeting coverage independent producer, the hometown goes to Chris Luz, David Palomares, Michael Sane, Chris Leiden, and Gabe Thomas from Community Media of the Foothills for the project titled City Council Recap, November 1st, 2022. Wrapping up the girls' volleyball season at Clifton Middle School. That's right. 
very exciting. As a matter of fact, I know we're going to talk about Matt, but I saw some of my players in the in the audience at the city council meeting last uh, this last week, and it's, so it's exciting to see the kids being good on the court, but also being. Our next award is Government Profile, presented for programs that feature government departments or showcase government employees at work. In the category of Government Profile Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jonathan Alexander from City of Hyattsville for the project titled, A Love Letter to DPW. The Department of Public Works has multiple different departments. I think that we deserve to be recognized for our good work and this facility shows us that the city, the residents, our council and our staff and city administrator are willing to invest in a department. In the category of government profile community radio, the hometown goes to Roberta McCulloch Dews from WTBR FM, Pittsfield Community Radio, for the project titled Backstory. Let's hear it. It's coming because uh -huh. today is hectic. And yes. I'm like, as soon as you started talking, and with these, I don't know, maybe it's the magic of the <laughs> microphone, I don't know. And I'm like, all right, I could get into this. This yes, is okay. For so, sure. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right. So, in the category of government profile independent producer, the hometown goes to Seth Thomas, town of Brattleboro, from Brattleboro Community Television, for the project titled Brattleboro Fire Department Training Feature, December 2022. The firefighters are working against numerous distractions, including the sounds of radio chatter and their own self-contained breathing apparatus. In a real emergency, they would also have to deal with the noise produced from the fire itself. The category Informational Talk Show Single Episode is awarded to discussion programs slash interviews designed to inform viewers on a specific topic. In the category of Information Talk Show Single Episode Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Allison Long, Mallory Kenny, Leonid Mazur, and Michael Wheeler from Germantown High School Television for the project titled Memphis Shelby Schools Report. Simply STEM. It's simply partnering with elementary schools and teaching them about science and St. Jude education. The coolest thing that we learned through our research, we learned that um, how cancer was made and stuff. In the category of informational talk show, single episode community radio, the hometown goes to Bev Livingston from KKFI 90.1 FM for the project titled Jaws of Justice. On Jaws of Justice, we examine how to find justice in our society. Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. Now, our show. Greetings, Kyle. In the category of Information Talk Show Single Episode Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Datuan Cullins, Adiambo Mitchell, and Mike Favor from Manhattan Neighborhood Network for the project titled Mistake are valuable. Uh, like I'll, I can get over it. No, I, I can get over with it. You know, or, or she'll find a way uh, to like it, right? True. Or she'll check. Me, did say that. Or she'll check me in a way where I still have a chance. She's still letting me know she's it's coming. okay. In the category of information talk show single episode student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled. 2022 Crosstalk, Brownsville. Hello and welcome to this special edition of Crosstalk. I'm your host, Tia Lyons. This week, as part of our Our Little Town series, we travel east to Brownsville, Tennessee, also known as the heart of the Tennessee Delta. This town of just over 10,000 has a strong cultural heritage, a proud educational system, and an enthusiastic outlook. Our next category is Informational Talk Show Series awarded to discussion programs or interviews designed to inform viewers on a specific topic. In the category of informational talk show series Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Robert Cam, Martha Correa, and Jordan Plose Alicia from TC Media for the project titled Mission Nonprofit, Mission Year 2022. Teach you weaving, blacksmithing, woodworking, it's called a beauty folk school. Computer, put it on. Hillary, you're the executive director of our beauty folk school. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what it is? In the category of informational talk show series, independent producer, 
The hometown goes to Laurel Hoffman and Andrew Hoffman from Contemporary Fashion Education Incorporated for the project titled Creating Fashion with Laurel. And uh, when I make clothes, I just take patterns that already fit me and I often adjust them a little this way or that way so they look a little different. So here's my yardages so that when I'm in the store, I know how much to buy. And this column is for 45 inch wide and this is for 60 inch wide. In the category of informational talk show series student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022 Crosstalk Compilation. Hello, and welcome to GHS TV's award-winning talk show, Crosstalk. I'm your host, Ternice Anderson. Each week, we discuss topics important to our diverse community. Orange Mound here in Memphis has the distinction of being America's first black community, built solely by and for black people. But what is it like? The next category is instructional slash training. These videos provide how-to advice or teach a subject or skill. In the category of instructional slash training access center professional, the hometown goes to Natalie Nig from CMAC Fresno Clovis for the project titled Media Representations and Why They Matter. Media representation can be defined as the ways in which people, places, objects, and social situations are portrayed within the media. Whether you're watching the news, a movie, a documentary, or a TV show, everything you see on screen is a representation. It's important to- In the category of instructional slash training independent producer, the hometown goes to Bob Rosinski from Longmont Public Media for the project titled Joel's Garden Academy. Hi, my name is Joel Reich. I live in Longmont, Colorado, and I'm extremely fond of growing fruit. So I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about grafting, specifically of fruit trees, why we do it, uh, why it's a ton of fun, and some of the great things you can do for yourself and others. Now for local performances winners, featuring music concerts, plays, or dance performances. In the category of local performances access center professional, the hometown goes to Daniel Leone, Rosalind Nieves, Madeline Johnson, John Leinung, Joseph Swift, James Faber, Henry Ramos, Verity Rollins, Derek Simmons, Camuel Charles, and Nate Gelsum from Queens Communication Corporation for the project titled NYCMC Presents Smell the Rose. And Carmen Whip with the Guardia Performing Arts Center invites you to smell the roses as we celebrate the gifts and honor the musical journeys of New York City's extraordinary musicians and artists. The exquisite list of honorees include Paul Schaefer. In the category of local performance community radio, the hometown goes to Bill Rusty Crowell and Jan Elba from Philly Cam for the project titled Philly folk scene. Um, this is a song I wrote called Earth. And in many ways, I think the guitar is the main voice and uh, I'm just accompanying it. In the category of local performances, independent producer, the hometown goes to Jerome Whalen, Julia Van Ijken, and Bob Silman from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Young at Heart Chorus 40th Anniversary Show. And this one by Sonic Youth. In the category of local performances, student, the hometown goes to Miguel Rodriguez Kino from MCTV for the project titled, The Music of Noon. So what Hasni does is take ancient Egyptian poetry and involve it in deeply rooted sections that we have built specifically for his vocals that stem from... The magazine shows winners are programs comprised of several pre-produced segments or stories on different topics introduced by a host or narrative. In the category of Magazine Shows Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to David Palomares, James Delisio, Michael Sane, Gabe Thomas, and Chris Leeton from Community Media of the Foothills for the project titled KGEM Live Encore. Volunteer here at Monrovia Community Garden, 
and then Kristen and I started Food Ed. There was a call from the community for more uh, school gardens. And we started to look around the community at Plymouth, at different schools, and these gardens are, are really... In the category of Magazine Shows Community Radio, the hometown goes to Lanita Duke, Althea Billings, Mary Lee, Nia Gray, Cecil Prescott, and Diane Johnson from Grassroot News Northwest for the project titled LTAR Kwanzaa 2022. This purpose is my favorite principle because this year I saw a lack of purpose in the new phenomenon or maybe not new, but more Americans are starting to believe in the phenomenon of QAnon. I believe QAnon. In the category of magazine shows independent producer, the hometown goes to Derek Freights, David Photo, Charlie Murphy, and Eric Saw from Fairhaven TV for the project titled The Magazine. Year in Review 2022. It's very historical. Uh, it is. Why is yeah. it called the Millicent Library? So uh, when Henry Huddleston Rogers uh, um, had, had his family, the youngest daughter, Millicent, she died when she was only 17 years old. In the category of magazine shows student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022 GHS Insider. Welcome to GHS Insider, the show that's all about the G. I'm Tia Lyons, and today you'll get an inside look at everything happening around Germantown High School. We've got a jam-packed show, so let's find out what's coming up. School safety is on the minds of everyone. The mixed and transmedia category features programs that use different media forms, still imagery, animation, transmedia, puppetry, spoken word, etc. In the category of mixed and transmedia access center professional, the hometown goes to Ann Schweizguff and Mark Martinez from SWC TV for the project titled Woodbury City Budget, Lego Style. This year's city operating budget will be used to maintain and enhance services like police, fire and emergency medical services, installing new playgrounds, maintaining the city trails, providing recreational options like ball fields and tennis courts, landscape maintenance. In the category of mixed and transmedia independent producer, the hometown goes to Northampton Open Media, the community of Northampton, P. Albert Williams, David Newland, and Liz Walber from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Crowdsourced Cinema 2022, Star Wars A New Hope. Ben? Ben Kenobi! Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. The young Lin wastes are not to be traveled lightly. What are you doing out this far? <sighs> This little droid seems to be searching for its former master. I've never seen... In the category of mixed and transmedia student, the hometown goes to Max Gledhill, Nola Buzanski, and Kai Lenhoff from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Cold Open Magic Paper. No, yeah, um, super thoughtful. Thanks, but I'm just going to go back to doing my real work. All right, well, peace out, Fouchette. See ya. The news category includes regularly scheduled programs providing coverage of local issues, people, places, and events through reports, interviews, and video clips. In the category of News Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jeff Barnd and Jared Sweet from Arlington Community Media Incorporated for the project titled ACMI News. Area listings for showtimes and hits the red carpet to talk to moviegoers and award-winning filmmakers about the timely themes this year on Arlington Silver Screen. And what do mortadella, capicola, provolone cheese, and Genoa salami have in common with a football field? Uh, in the category of News Community Radio, the hometown goes to Faith Amafitten, Natalie Candler, Katie Coffey, Richard Rosenthal, Shavarsh Morrissey, Leroy McLaurin, and Ashley Lewis from Boston Neighborhood Network Media for the project titled News Community Radio. Because at the end of the day, people are going to come to this building because it's a place where art gets made and art gets shared. We have built a place of congregation where people come together to have that collective experience 
that Loretta was describing, to share space, to actually what... In the category of News Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Pat McDonald from Orca Media for the project titled Vote for Vermont, Report, Broken System, Broken Promises. It's not much investigation that's taken place. Um, so then there is a there's and this is the experience that we've seen in this process, then there's a rush to judgment. We have to do something now because we've had this kid out of the house, this child's out of the house. In the category of news student, the hometown goes to Emma Golis Pedal Award, Elijah Curtin Edelman, and Camilla Brewer from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Special Report Death Penalty. So that's required by the Constitution, and the Constitution really just creates a baseline, and then states are allowed to carry out the death penalty in the way they want. Do I think the death penalty should be allowed? I think I have mixed feelings about it, honestly. I feel like since this guy kills 17 people, I think he should be. The original film drama category is a scripted and or acted dramatic show or series, scripted action or adventure, reenactment or suspense program, a humorous show or series, traditional or innovative art, poetry, spoken recital, theater or other art medium, such as video art or experimental videos, other non-musical art medium or artist profiles. In the category of Original Film Drama Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Robert Surgott and Colleen Hopper from Sterling Heights Television for the project titled Every 15 Minutes, A Sterling Heights Story. category of original film or drama independent producer, the hometown goes to Dimitri Lakoba from Media Factory for the project titled Cabin Fever, Freud and Shod. Bye. Come here, bye. In the category of original film or drama student, the hometown goes to Madison Parr, Levi Armstrong, Emile Roth, and Camden DeFranco from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Cold Open, Homecoming. Hello, Corn Cob Club. Welcome back. Now for the wardrobe. Do wear one article of clothing from your parents' closet so you look mature. And don't wear the shoes to get the most pleasure. The public health programming categories are programs that educate the public about community health initiatives and aim to prevent disease or injury. In the category of Public Health Programming Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jason Baldwin, Will Shannon, and Zoe Sobel from KPU-TV and Peace Health Ketchikan Medical Center for the project titled In the Spotlight breast cancer. Starting at 50 every other year, there are certain populations where we, we certainly would consider getting the mammogram uh, uh, in the 40s, um, but that decision should be made by the patient with their doctor. I would In the category of public health programming community radio, the hometown goes to Dr. Dick Needleman from 103.3 Asheville FM for the project titled Healthy Asheville Health Report. In local news, the Buckham County Department of Health and Human Services, whose initials are BCDHHS, will partner with 103.3, Asheville FM, and the Getaway River Bar to hold a monkeypox vaccination clinic. In the category of public health programming independent producer, the hometown goes to Leah Cohen from Brick Brooklyn Free Speech for the project titled Autism, Lost Generations and Neurodiversity. I've been accused of autism. I don't know if it's actually true. Uh, I do know that I have some autistic traits and that they have mostly made my life more difficult. If I were to do something... In the category of public health programming student, the hometown goes to Isabella Riley from CMAC Fresno Clovis for the project titled Fentanyl. The American Crisis. Um, they might start drooling and eventually they actually stop breathing. One of the things, the ways that fentanyl works, um, it's a very potent uh, pain medicine. 
and it's derived, uh, it's a synthetic, so it's sort of a man-made derivation of morphine. And what all of these drugs... Our next category is public service announcements. Short videos less than one minute, promoting a community event or organization, or presenting a particular social message. In the category of Public Service Announcements Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jennifer DeSina, Brian Devine, Alan Ginsberg, and Rebecca Levine from Town of North Hempstead for the project titled Don't Leave Your Dog in the Car PSA. It can be dangerous, even deadly, to leave your dog in the car. So please, anytime it's warm outside, do not leave your dog unattended in a hot car. Hot summer days can also be extremely dangerous for a dog's paws. On a 77 degree day. In the category of public service announcements, student, the hometown goes to Teen Tiger TV from WPAA TV and Community Media Center for the project titled, It Is Never Too Late 988. Nearly 50 million Americans struggle with mental health. And no time is the wrong time to ask for help. So, when feeling down or feeling blue, here's what to do. Call 988, it's never too late. The next category features entries dedicated to racial justice and civil rights. These are programs that educate, inform, and advance racial justice or civil rights work. In the category of Racial Justice and Civil Rights Programming, Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Zebulon Schmidt and Donald Hyman from Open Stage Media for the project titled Conversations on Freedom. First black-led union to be formally recognized by the American Federation of Labor and eventually led the charge on civil rights. And I, well, I became one of the most important women labor and civil rights organizers. In the category of Racial Justice and Civil Rights Programming Community Radio, the hometown goes to Eric Kerrig from 103.3 Asheville FM for the project titled Solutions for the Underaffiliated, Lessons from Cherokee Heritage. Tohi is sort of a central rooting concept or philosophy in a sense. On the surface, yeah, I mean, I think balance is an appropriate way to, to talk about that. I think about it also in regards to this idea of historical trauma. So how do we combat, how do we heal from? In the category of racial justice and civil rights programming, independent producer, the hometown goes to Mark Hughes and Vincent Mitchell from Town Meeting TV for the project titled The Juxtaposition, Hiding Behind Objectivity. No doubt. no doubt. You know, I was just thinking that, you know, one of the challenges that we have with the movement uh, in the course of creating these programs and these policies to address systemic racism is the notion of objectivity. Just the In the category of racial justice and civil rights programming student, the hometown goes to Code Blue News from Hallbrook Community Access and Media for the project titled CBN, Hispanic Heritage Mural. It's really about civic leadership and engagement of young people. And now, obviously, we've sort of focused more on the Afro-Latin arts piece of it. This is the heart of uh, Boston, the heart of the Latino community in Boston. They call the Latin Quarters of Jamaica Plain. Up next is Radio DJ of the Year category. This is for programs produced by DJs of community radio stations. In the category of Radio DJ of the Year, the hometown goes to Robin Tomlin, a.k.a. The Rum Cove, from WTJU Radio, for the project titled Soulful Situation. Well, the Royal Rum Cove is getting... Get out of the hot seat. I want to let you know that on the 27th of March, I'll be joined by Preston Loudaback for a special show about the life of Junior. The category of sports coverage and leisure and recreation focuses on physical activities people choose to do in their free time to pursue personal interests, pleasurable and enjoyable activities. This year, we have two winners in the Access Center Professional Division. In the category of sports coverage, leisure slash recreation, Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Daniel J. Leone, Lucia Dragosh, Christo Bakalov, Steve Carbo, and Christina Gary from Queens Public Television for the project titled Around Queens, 13th Annual Unicycle Festival. We have Learn to Ride area, we have coaches here, we have unicycle with training wheels that you can try, unicycles that you pedal backwards to go frontwards. So today is really an opportunity for unicycle folks to try something completely new, but it's also a chance. 
in the category of sports coverage, leisure slash recreation, access center professional, the hometown goes to Pamela Gardner from Fairfax County Government Channel 16 for the project titled FCPA Adapted Aquatics. And they're unified in one thing. They want to learn how to swim. And we're there not only to teach them how to swim, we're there to teach them how to compete in swimming. So they're going to learn how to turn, they're going to learn how to start, uh, and, and they're going to learn how to be successful. In the category of sports coverage, leisure slash recreation, independent producer, the hometown goes to Leia Wells from IEMG San Bernardino for the project titled Travel Today with Leia, Joshua Tree. Welcome to Travel Today with Leia to Joshua Tree. Join me, your host, Leia, as we travel to the town of Joshua Tree, but also the National Park Joshua Tree. Join me in the park as we go for a hike and we go for a In the category of sports coverage, leisure slash recreation, student, the hometown goes to Jane Harrison Millman and Shira Sweet from Northampton Open Media for the project titled Hamped Up Fencing. So the idea of high school fencing or fencing in a high school league as a winter sport, I think, takes people out of the cycle of your more traditional or national competitive fencing in a way that there's a disconnect between what we do in the high school fencing and what other fencers actually do. Next up are the winners for sports coverage live competition featuring game of the week or coverage of a sports activity or competition. In the category of sports coverage, live competition, access center professional, the hometown goes to Taylor Johnson from QC TV for the project titled Football Section 7AA AAA Championship. And a chance there is his first one, just a two yard plunge, but countered back and then Nelson, a nice pass here to Heller. Heller picks it up there and that gave the Huskies with that extra point a one point lead. And they battled back and following it up up the middle here. In the category of sports coverage, live competition, independent producer, the hometown goes to Flume Media live production team from Flume Media for the project titled Girls Basketball Newfound vs. WMRHS 2922. Division 3 girls basketball matchup on tonight where it's the White Mountain Regional Spartans hosting the Bears at Newfound in the green out on the court right now. And uh, as always, Adam Reitzma with you. In the category of sports coverage live competition student, the hometown goes to McLean High School from CMAC Fresno Clovis for the project titled CMAC High School Football. Seven or eight yards across the 40 yard line. The Highlanders have to be careful on that. That was real iffy that uh, hit boy when they uh, cross the sidelines like that. You gotta let it go. The underserved voices category is for programs produced by individuals with developmental or physical challenges or created about subjects of interest slash areas of concern in underserved communities. In the category of underserved voices, access center professional, the hometown goes to Torin City Cable for the project titled Three Generation Japanese American Military Family. And there's a lot of them. Japanese Americans live forever. <laughs> um, but, you know, realistically, we know that they'll only have so much more time. Stacy shares many pictures, including this, her favorite family photo, where they all wore matching shirts. In the category of underserved voices, community radio, the hometown goes to Gabe Castro and Kat Cushion from Philly Cam for the project titled Ghouls Next Door. Could you tell us a bit about like your experiences? So you've been in there for, for 25 years. Have you, uh, with your time there, interacted with anyone, perhaps just like interactions with? In the category of underserved voices, independent producer, the hometown goes to Jennifer Robin from CMAC Fresno Clovis for the project titled Endangered Language. Awa in Southern Sierra Miwok means mouth. It's the people of the gaping mouth. Well, the Southern Sierra Miwok has been in this area, basically Mariposa County, for thousands of years. Some say that it came from the Great Basin. In the category of underserved voices, student, the hometown goes to 
Daniela Maciel Navarro from CMAC Fresno Clovis for the project title El Poder of a Classroom. My name is Elvia Rodriguez. I'm a professor of History and Chicano Studies. I teach both at Fresno State and at Fresno City College. At Fresno City College, I teach history there, um, and at Fresno State, where I also uh, teach History and Chicano Studies. I started there in 20. Our next category is virtual events, focusing on meetings, programs, conferences, and events that were held virtually. In the category of Virtual Events Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Carroll County Chamber of Commerce, Carroll County Public Schools, from Community Media Center of Carroll County, for the project titled 2022 Outstanding Teacher Awards. And now, I would like to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Stephen Lockard. Thank you, Cindy. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be here this evening to recognize our outstanding teachers. I'd like to personally congratulate. In the category of virtual events independent producer, the hometown goes to producer Birja Unvash, co-authors Birjan Uvash and Professor Olji Uvash from the Light Millennial Global, cablecasted through QPTV for the project titled Our Groundwater. How can we work together to manage it sustainably? Welcome to your excellencies, distinguished speakers, presenters, and all of our guests of this program who join us from all parts of the world. Now, please allow me to welcome to our moderator, distinguished speaker and panelist of the first. In the category of virtual events student, the hometown goes to GHS TV, CMTV, and European School of Tbilisi, Georgia, from Germantown High School for the project titled 2022, An Ocean Apart, A World Together, Our Questions Answered. I would definitely recommend listening to Doja Cat. Doja Cat is an amazing artist. She recently just made a song called Vegas for a movie, um, Elvis, which is based off of artist Elvis Presley here in Memphis. What anybody, Kristen? <laughs> Next up is voter education. Programs that increase participation in voting in local elections. In the category of Voter Education Access Center Professional, the hometown goes to Jen Adams, Eugene Feugelman, and Stephen Kessinger from New TV for the project titled Newton News. Mayor Fuller discusses Override 2023. We've got 1.4 million in there to pave our streets better, fix more sidewalks, and to make safety improvements. We also have a million dollars for parks and playgrounds. In the category of Voter Education Independent Producer, the hometown goes to Ernest Owens from Philly Camp for the project titled, Earnestly Speaking, the Election Special. But I'm also curious though about other issues around voting that, you know, we talk about it in the sense of like, we're all gonna show up to vote and vote. But why are some real reasons why people are not voting that does not have anything to do with the other side of politics? In the category of voter education student, the hometown goes to GHS TV crew from Germantown High School for the project titled Crosswalk 2022 Election. And Mr. Stimble, what issues are most important to the voters that you've been talking to? I think the, the most important issue that we are seeing right now, and everybody is talking about it, is the rise in violent crime mm -hmm. in Memphis. Voters are very concerned about liberal uh, district attorney. Web-based programs, international or entertaining programs designed for internet streaming. In the category of web-based programs access center professional, the hometown goes to Colin Marr, Nicholas Lavalle, and Justin Slez from Merrimack TV for the project titled Merrimack Moment celebrating Patricia Cunningham. This concert with the new uh, new song uh, that we just started working on three days ago, which it, it was astounding to me how incredible this band is and how we've been able to put it all together in such a short period of time and make it sound as good as it does. In the category of virtual events independent producer, the hometown goes to producer Birja Unvash, co-authors Birjan Uvash and professor Olji Uvash from the Light Millennial Global, cablecasted through QPTV for the project titled Our Groundwater, 
How can we work together to manage it sustainably? Welcome to your excellencies, distinguished speakers, presenters, and all of our guests of this program who join us from all parts of the world. Now, please allow me to welcome to our moderator, distinguished speaker and panelist of the first. In the category of web-based programs student, the hometown goes to Nola Buzanski and Gavin Knight Richard from Northampton Open Media for the project titled The Transcript. We sought to learn more about this global issue and why it's important to our school community. Youth Climate Action Now is the youth branch of Climate Action Now. Um, we started this year and the Poetry Vigil was our kickoff event. We are and now our final categories of the Hometown Awards presented to organizations for their overall excellence. Getting one of the Overall Excellence Awards reflects the distinction colleagues across the country place on our winners. Up first is the Overall Excellence in Educational Access category, awarded to organizations that operate only in educational access channels and resources. In the category of Overall Excellence Educational Access Less Than $300,000, the hometown goes to Candace New, Amanda Hoffler, and Brianna Ellers from Catharsis Media Incorporated for the project titled New Mexico Educational Access Channel. Hi, my name is Abby Butler. I have been a watercolor artist for about nine years. In the category of Overall Excellence Educational Access greater than $1 million, the hometown goes to Rockville, Maryland, from Montgomery College Television. What a beautiful day we have today. Commencement is a remarkable event. It is a momentous moment that you will always remember. This one feels even more special because so many of us are in person for the first time. Up next is the overall excellence in government access category awarded to an organization that operates only government access channels and resources. In the category of Overall Excellence Governmental Access $300,000 to $650,000, the hometown goes to Home TV staff and interns. From Home TV, Meridian Township. So for 40 years, Wharton Center has been bringing the best of entertainment to mid-Michigan. Broadway, jazz, classical music, dance, whatever genre Well, congratulations, Wharton Center. 40 years is amazing. And then we've got Pretty Woman, the musical, which starts our... In the category of overall excellence governmental access, $650,000 to $1 million, the hometown goes to staff from Shelby TV. It's very difficult to respond to and have it where it's a linear response. Uh, so if we can combine our efforts and make it where something is a lot more streamlined, it can potentially save a life down the road. We got more shots! In the category of overall excellence governmental access, less than $300,000. The hometown goes to the Omni Center for Public Media and City of Carmel, Indiana. And a lot of really good cars. The worst situation for me was to be separated from my mother. And in the category of overall excellence, governmental access greater than $1 million, the hometown goes to Rebecca Mackley, executive producer from Fairfax County Government, Channel 16. Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood disorder that affects more than 100,000 Americans, mostly of African descent. Each September, the Fairfax County Health Department shines a spotlight on sickle cell disease in the hopes of raising public the overall excellence in community radio is awarded to community radio stations. In the category of overall excellence in community radio less than $300,000, the hometown goes to KP Whaley, general manager from Asheville FM 103.3. All righty, let's give a great big welcome to Asheville's own Interspector with Bry Bryce, Cam, and Kevin. Let's give it up for them. All right. Yo, what up? That was archival amalgamations, one all our... In the category of overall excellence in community radio greater than $1 million, the hometown goes to 
Brett Rodriguez, and the dedicated producers of BNN from Boston Neighborhood Network Media. As Boston's community radio station, we have to understand that we cover and inform the community about issues and concerns that no other media station can do from a community producer's perspective. We are in the community and we know the issues of the community because we are closest to what's happening. The overall excellence in P, E, or G access awards are given to organizations responsible for any combination of public, educational, and governmental access channels and resources. In the category of overall excellence, P, E, or G access, $650,000 to $1 million, the hometown goes to QCTV. Our customers, I tell you, they are they are almost as good as our teenagers. They come year after year, you get to know them. Bill and Nancy Bauer are the owners of this Berry Paradise, and they've been doing it for 47 years. In the category of overall excellence, P, E, or G access, less than $300,000, the hometown goes to Brattleboro Community Television. It used to be that people were very timid about revealing their recovery status. In the category of overall excellence, P, E, or G access greater than $1 million, the hometown goes to CMAC Fresno Clovis. At Labrador Retriever Rescue of Fresno, we connect shelter dogs with foster families willing to aid dogs like Maddie Jane until they find their forever home. Fostering gives me a real sense of purpose and belonging. In the category of overall excellence, P, E, or G access, $300,000 to $650,000, the hometown goes to Beth George, Jennifer Vale Stores, Cole Christensen, and Stephanie Criselius from ICTV. And it's the 41st anniversary of Tall Timber Days. Hi everybody, Brett Skiles, County Administrator here. With Overall excellence in public access, awarded to an organization that operates only the public access channels and resources. Programming examples might include shows created by access staff, community producers, organizations, and individuals who have editorial control over the content of their programs. In the category of Overall Excellence Public Access, $300,000 to $650,000, the hometown goes to the staff and volunteers of MHTV from Marblehead Community Access and Media for the project titled MHTV, Overall Excellence in Public Access, Truly Local. Hi, Gene Arnold here, and I'm a community partner with MHTV. Happy to be so. They're our source for local news, for programming, for all sorts of things. They give us the town meeting, they give us our local meetings, the selectmen, the Board of Health, all those other things. In the category of Overall Excellence Public Access, $650,000 to $1 million, the hometown goes to Erica Bradley, producer, Robert Schofield, president, and Rebecca Farina, editor, from North Shore TV. In the category of Overall Excellence Public Access Less Than $300,000, the hometown goes to Team Hercules from WPAA-TV and Community Media Center for the project titled You, Unity and Community, Annual Report 2023. Negotiations, they happen at the end of the session in particular when the clock comes in handy to, just like in basketball, the clock comes in handy when you need to negotiate something to get to the finish line. Because mm -hmm. people see the clock, they realize they... In the category of overall excellence public access, greater than $1 million, the hometown goes to Daniel J. Leone, Rosalind Nieves, Madeline Johnson, Lucia Dragosh, John Linung, Christo Bakalov, Steve Carbo, Norin Omar, Joseph Swift, Henry Ramos, Kemuel Charles, Andrew Guidoni and Christina Gary from Queens Public Television. Hire me. Everybody was kind of afraid to put me on stage because they've never seen it. I think I did over 40 shows with her. Then the whole world opened up. 
man, that changed my life in a lot of ways, yeah. Thank you for joining us in celebrating this year's Hometown Media Award winners. And thank you again to our sponsor, Cablecast. So let's hear a big round of applause for all our winners this evening. My thanks to Cablecast for their support for tonight's event and for their support of the ACM Foundation. You can find all of the winners on Hometown TV, which is available for download through Cablecast. So thank you so much for that. Please enjoy watching the winners over and over again on your local channels. That's all for this evening's uh, entertainment. Please join us for the after party and have a great night.